Hello and welcome to Long Term Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Central Pneumatic 125 PSI 2.5 horsepower 21 gallon air compressor sold by Harbor Freight. As usual, we'll get started by taking a look at the specs. It features a 21 gallon cast iron tank, 125 maximum PSI, a 2.5 horsepower motor, 4.7 SCFM at 90 PSI, 5.8 at 40 PSI. It operates on a standard 120 volt outlet, a oil lubricated motor, and I've owned this compressor for just over four years. From impact wrenches to grinders and sanders, I've put this compressor through its paces using many tools over the years. My biggest complaint with this compressor is exactly the same as the complaint I had with the three gallon model that I reviewed in an earlier video. It is obnoxiously loud. When the tank is completely full to capacity and the air pressure is turned all the way up, you can use a tool such as this die grinder held wide open for about 10 seconds before the compressor kicks back on, which usually happens at about 90 PSI. Which isn't bad, but the problem arises that once the air compressor has kicked back on, if you continue to use the tool at wide open, it cannot replenish the air in the tank fast enough to keep the tool usable. As you can see in the demonstration here, with the tank full to capacity and this tool held at wide open, the compressor loses air pressure quite quickly. Most tools need at least 60 or 70 pounds to even be effective, such as this die grinder. Once it drops below that point, any pressure at all you exert onto the tool and it won't spin at all. Which would be true of any air compressor and any other tool, if it doesn't have enough air pressure it's not going to work properly. The fact that this compressor struggles to maintain its air pressure when you're using a tool such as this grinder continuously is not something I would consider a strike against this compressor. Because tools such as this die grinder use an enormous amount of air and just about any air compressor unless it was far larger than this would have trouble keeping up. With that being said, it powers all of my other tools without issue and I've also had no issues with the compressor itself. I would easily give it four and a half stars and I would definitely buy it again. And speaking of reviews, make sure and check out my website DIYMonkey.store. There you'll find the absolute best Amazon has to offer as far as tools, electronics, kitchen gadgets, survival gear, and more. Nothing is listed on my website that has less than a 4.7 star review rating on an average of at least 50 reviews. You don't have to scour Amazon for the highest customer rated items at the best value because I've already done it for you at DIYMonkey.store. And that will do it for today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you already haven't. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of any new videos. And until next time, thanks for watching.